Okay, you guys, I am so excited. Guess what we are doing today? We are going to be doing a charcuterie board. And did you know that those are trending right now? So if you don't have one or if you want an extra one, you need to watch this. It's coming up right now. But before we get to the charcuterie board, we're going to do this simple DIY. We've done this in the past before. We found this design and we got to do another one. And this DIY in particular will never get old for me. I will show the finished products, all of them at the end of the video. So stay tuned to see what they all look like. We are still celebrating fall, of course, but I am very excited to decorate for Christmas. And well, of course I am. So Miss Nancy has a glass taper candle holder you saw how she painted it glued that design right on top of it and by the way she painted it over with white chalk paint so a very easy and simple DIY that I absolutely love and right now here's another DIY DIY number two that I am so excited to share with you guys and we aren't going to paint the inside of it but only the outside so inside of this you can place your fruit maybe your apples and peaches maybe some cookies if you want you know if you're gonna set up your table with a little hot cocoa bar you can put some chocolate hot cocoa packages in here, whatever you want. Honestly, I love this idea, it's so nice. By the way, I don't know if you saw the video from last week, or maybe it was the week before last week. Miss Nancy created a little pumpkin with lights and greenery, and it was her version of the clear pumpkin that she saw at Joann's that lights up with these exact bowls. So her bowl also uh, lights up. And I just thought that was really nice because it was just a cute little, it was her cute little version of, well, what Joanne Fabrics had done. And I want to say that she painted this over with two coats of white chalk paint. Now, depending on what kind of chalk paint you buy, you might need three. So you can add a third coat if you want a really nice deep coverage. Now, like I said, we just decided to give it two coats of paint. And I do see some tiny areas where it's sort of translucent here, but we aren't going to be, we're not too worried about that because we're going to come in with some antique wax later on and give it a sort of a rustic and older type of look. And if you want something red, then by all means, paint it red, green, mint green for crying out loud. But they also have that beautiful icy blue color that I love during Christmas time. But whatever theme you are going for, you can get creative with this DIY and do just that. Okay, you guys, we are finally here. We are creating the charcuterie board on a budget. So Miss Nancy here, which is my mom, she is taking two signs from Dollar Tree and she's gonna come in with these wooden sticks from a closet, but you can go to Dollar Tree and get some crafting sticks, paint sticks, and do this project using those. Dollar Tree definitely has a lot of wooden options right now. So she's going to start gluing. And also I wanna add this, if you want some reinforced for the back you can go ahead and take some of these wooden sticks and glue them on the back we didn't but you personally can so I am just going to glue both of these boards together well miss Nancy is and I do want to say that the paint sticks uh, the well the little wooden sticks that we're using right here they didn't exactly fit okay they didn't how do I explain that? But you can kind of see it in the video how they don't exactly fit here. So we have a little bit of excess, but that's perfectly okay. You can trim your wood to fit. Now, my dad, he personally wasn't here around the time that Miss Nancy was doing this DIY. So if he was, he would have trimmed the wood for us, but he wasn't. He was at work. So Miss Nancy just let it be. And she's going to try to make this where it's not very noticeable. Okay, and right now she is going to be, she's gonna form a separate little compartment to the charcuterie board, but if you wanted to, right here, if you weren't gonna use this as a charcuterie board, you could easily add some hooks at the end, and at the top part you can add a little design, you can hang your keys on the hooks, whatever you wanna do, maybe add a quote on top if you're not gonna use this as a charcuterie board, but maybe you wanna take this DIY and make it into a wall decor piece, whatever you want. But for us, we are going to be using it as a charcuterie board. So this red area is going to be for the silverware and you can see how she placed her Mod Podge right there. She placed her fabric on top and this fabric, she bought it at Dollar Tree. So you can put your silverware here, 
your uh, serving utensils, whatever you want. That's exactly what Miss Nancy made this little section for. Now, if you don't want a wooden look on your paint sticks, that's okay. So basically, you can get creative here. And I also want to say that your food is not going to go on the wood. It is going to be in little bowls and you're gonna place those little bowls on your little charcuterie board. But right here you can see Miss Nancy adding some jute rope and I love that. Also she did paint the handles black but if you want you can go around the handles with some twine to add a little bit more of that rustic look or maybe you can go ahead and paint the handles green or maybe red if you want it to match the fabric, whatever you want. But you guys, I love this DIY and it is done. Look how amazing it looks. I am so in love with it. And yes, it definitely has that farmhouse vibe. And if you love country or a vintage distressed look, you can definitely do that. We're just here giving you some inspiration, but you can come in with your own theme, your own look. So now Miss Nancy has two charcuterie boards, but she might have to make another one because this was downright amazing. We have so much more coming for Christmas. So stay tuned because we are going to be doing everything on a budget. So we're going to help you guys save money for Christmas. That way you guys can buy more Christmas gifts for your family and for your friends. But we always love inspiring you all to create a memorable home on a budget. So if you like the video, do not forget to like and to subscribe and to hit the notification bell. All that way you can join the creative family and never miss a DIY video. So I'll see you guys next time.